If you're familiar with the ASQ, the American Society for Quality Black Belt exam, you know already that it's a very rigorous exam, four hours, 150 questions, and only 65% of the people who take ASQ exams actually get through the exams. And why is that? Well, because of the way that ASQ structures the questions. And the number one reason that a lot of people fail the ASQ Black Belt exam is because they specifically rely on their experience to get them through the exam. So for example, they may maybe have 10, 20 years of experience using Lean Six Sigma tools, so they think they can go in to the ASQ exam and just pass the exam, and that's simply not true, not for the most part. And I know that's a problem because I actually almost fell into that category. Uh, right before I was gonna go take the exam, just a, about a month out, I wasn't prepared very well, and I thought that I could rely on my experience, but I picked up a couple of questions online and I realized that the way ASQ structures the questions that I wasn't going to do well in the exam. In fact, I didn't do well in the practice test that I took. So that's when I buckled down and started studying. So I don't want you to fall in that category. So don't rely on your experience to get you through the exam. It simply won't do. You have to prepare. Now, a lot of people overlook this next reason, but a lot of reasons that people fail the exam is because there are a lot of distractions or there could be a lot of distractions in your testing area. Now, I always recommend that people go visit the testing center before they actually take the exam. And so if you visit the testing center, pull up in the driveway, just sit there for a little while in the parking lot and just listen to the ambient noise around the testing center. You know, if there's construction nearby, make sure you pay close attention to that. If the testing center is located near a highway or major highway, perhaps maybe that's a lot of noise, you know, that could be a distraction on test day. And then you can actually go inside the testing center as well. Go in, sit down, and listen to the ambient noise within the testing center. Pay close attention to the temperature as well. You know, if the, if the location that you're gonna be testing at is cold, make sure you dress warm. If it's warm, make sure you dress cool. You know, you wanna make sure that on test day, you're fully prepared. So you don't wanna be distracted by noise or temperature. Something as simple as keyboard clicks can distract you. So I also recommend using some silicone earplugs. And you can pick these up online at Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I actually use these silicone earplugs during my exam. And so the third reason a lot of people fail the ASQ Black Belt exam is because they simply don't use the same materials on the exam that they use this prep for, or they don't prep their materials before they start taking practice exams so that they, they can use that same, those same resources on test day. And I'll give you an example. So let's say you're going to tab books, right? And I have a great video that I'll put a card uh, in this video on so you can go check that out if you want. But let's say you want to um, tab books so that you can quick, quickly reference um, a section of the book, right? Well, you want to do this while you're practicing, right? You want to do this before you practice for your exams, before you actually take practice exams. And why is that? Because when you practice your exams, you want to practice in the same way that you would do on test day. Um, because you want to simulate that environment, right? You want to simulate exactly how you're going to be using your materials. So I always recommend setting up your open book references uh, open book resources the same way you would be using those on test day. Additionally, make sure you use the same calculator as well. A lot of people use different calculators. You don't want to have to fumble it around and have to try to find functions on a different calculator. So use the same resources, prep those resources while you're taking or before you take your practice exams so that on test day, you're ready to go. And the number four reason a lot of people fail the ASQ Black Belt exam is because they don't fully understand the body of knowledge. If you don't understand the body of knowledge, then you're going to have a difficult time taking the exam. And when I say understand the body of knowledge, there are certain levels within Bloom's taxonomy that you need to understand. So there's basic definitions um, that would be very easy to understand, but then as you move up Bloom's taxonomy skills matrix, then you're going to need to understand how to apply the definitions and how to analyze information. And, they, and ASQ does a great job of including those structure or they question, they structure their questions around that type of framework, you know, Bloom's taxonomy. So familiarize yourself with that. Again, that's in the ebook I'm gonna give you for free as well. But that is one of the biggest reasons a lot of people fail the ASQ Black Belt exam is because they simply don't grasp the understanding of the body of knowledge. So I'd encourage you to go out to the ASQ website, download the body of knowledge, and when you're preparing for the exam, make sure you're preparing based off the ASQ's body of knowledge for their Six Sigma Black Belt. And the number five reason a lot of people fail the ASQ Black Belt exam, and believe it or not, this is absolutely true, is the fact that they run out of time during the exam. 
So you only have four hours for 150 questions and it's an open book test. So a lot of people think, well, four hours, 150 questions, 1.6 minutes per question, that should be very easy. But if you rely solely on the open book resources, then you're definitely gonna run out of time because you can't look up every single question. But also when you're preparing for the exam, you wanna make sure you're preparing and timing yourself the correct way. You wanna make sure you're trying to finish early on your practice exams so when you get to the actual exam you finish early as well you know there's going to be a little undue stress because on exam day you're going to be a bit more stressed out because just of the situation so you want to make sure that you're preparing the right way so that when you get there you alleviate as much stress as you possibly can i always recommend to everyone that you try to finish 75 percent ahead of time so when you're taking your exams if you're taking a full length exam make sure you target 75 percent of the four hours if you're taking you know, half of the exam, so you're only doing four, two hours, target 75% of the two hours, so that when you get to test day, you'll have enough time left over to review some of the questions that maybe you rushed through during the exam. All right, and that's it. That's my five reasons of why people fail the ASQ Flatbook exam. All right, so I talked about a free ebook, and this ebook is specifically designed for the ASQ Six Sigma Black Belt candidate. Now, that doesn't mean it won't help you if you're preparing for some other black belt but specifically I've designed this around the ASQ Six Sigma Black Belt Candidate. I'll put a link in the description below that'll take you straight to that ebook. But if you also wanna just go to my website at uh, the Six Sigma Black Belt Academy.com, there you, on the very first page, you'll have an option there to download the ebook as well. I'll put a link to my website in the description below as well. And that way you can go ahead and get that free resource that's gonna help you get started preparing for the exam. So if you got value out of this video, go ahead and click that like button below, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you know a friend or a colleague who might get value out of this uh, channel, or if they might get value out of the ebook, go ahead and forward this video onto them as well. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.